so one thing that occurred to me after recording the last one is that if you don't have Creative Cloud, you might be a little stuck. So, and I realize what you might actually be asking me. Um, so if you don't have Creative Cloud, check this out. It's more, a little bit more complicated. Um, but you should probably get Creative Cloud because it's awesome. But uh, anyway, so what you're going to have to do, if you can't, just convert the vector, the AI, into shapes like that, is go in and, um, again, this is Creative Cloud, but it doesn't matter. In the meantime, I'm going to make a new shape layer and delete the old ones. And I'm going to add a path. So this is just an empty path. There's no path data coming on here. So um, what you're going to have to do is copy, actually copy this path. And so and you're going to have to do this individually. And it's just going to be kind of a mess. But if you only had like say this G to do, then it wouldn't be so bad. Um, so you're actually going to hit Command C to copy that path and go over to the path you just made here. Make a keyframe and Command V actually copies that path data to the shape layer. And now you can add your fill and make it whatever you want. You can also group this. To kind of keep it more manageable. No, Phil's not. There you go. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a pain, but it's a way. It's the old school way to copy any path data from Illustrator into After Effects, and it kind of comes in handy. It just comes in handy just kind of to know that and to know how that works. But it's way, way, way easier uh, with this new feature to you know because you'd have to kind of do them all and then line them up and maybe use a guide layer to kind of line it up and get the colors right. Just a pain in the ass, but, um, so if you're really stuck, that's, that's something you can do. Uh, hope that helps. See you, man.